Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at the proper way to save user-defined models and symbols in LTSpice. LTSpice comes with a wide variety of in-built symbols, sub-circuits, and components. The sub-circuit models cover configurations with multiple circuit elements. The device or component models cover single circuit elements. On a Windows computer, you can find these models if you navigate to the default path shown here. Similarly, on a Mac, these models can be found at the default path shown here. Looking at the device or component models in more detail, they all follow a standard naming convention. For instance, the standard .dio file contains all the inbuilt LTSpice diode models. In LTSpice, whenever we update components, or we check for LTSpice updates, these inbuilt model files get overwritten. Thus, any user defined models added to these default files will be lost. The good news is that the latest version of LTSpice allows user defined models and symbols to be stored in a separate folder. In LTSpice, go to Tools, then Settings, and then select the Search Paths tab to bring up this menu. Here you can add the path to the folder where your user-defined models or third-party models provided by manufacturers are located. This is the folder containing user-defined models and symbols on my computer. I have a user-defined model for 741 op-amp, which is commonly used in engineering. I also have user-defined diode and xenodiode models stored in this file. Since the inbuilt diode models are contained in standard.dio file, the user-defined models must be in a file that is named as user.dio. Also, please note that there must not be any duplicate models in the standard.dio and user.dio files. Once these models have been properly defined, LTSpice will automatically recognize them and they can be used in simulations. The links to these videos are provided here and also in the video description. Thank you for watching the video.